What are you doing here, mate? Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what you can do on the day of your driving test to impress the examiner even before you start driving. Right then, so for this video, I needed uh, somebody who's going to play the role uh, of an examiner. And uh, yeah, I've got a familiar face that uh, many of you will recognize. So, driving examiner, please walk in. Hello, guys. <laughs> right then, for, so for those of you that don't know, this is uh, my nephew Rajan who passed his driving test with me roughly how long ago? Just around a year, well just under a year to be fair. And how's it been? Good, chilling, it's freedom and I mean every youngster wants it. That's it, yeah, well everyone who's uh, learning drive, we yeah. hope you, you get what uh, Rajan's got, uh, a driving license, yeah. Right then, first tip, Rajan you're going to start off with the first tip, what is the first tip? The first tip is to make sure you get enough sleep the night before. Yep, definitely, yeah, so obviously this isn't part of your actual day, but it will affect your day because it, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? If you've had enough sleep, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have good energy, more focused, and uh, yeah, it's going to benefit you massively. Right then, let's move on to the next one. So we just mentioned about getting a good night's sleep, which leads me on to the next point of not overthinking and worrying the night before. I recommend not watching, yes, you heard right, not watching too many videos online the night before your test as this may cause confusion as different instructors will have different teaching techniques. Personally, I think the night before is too late to start learning new teaching techniques. What you can do is revise the show me tell me questions and if you use reference points for the manoeuvres, make sure you memorise those reference points. And to any of you that are learning to drive, don't forget to download the Ultimate Driving course, especially if you haven't covered all the topics with your instructor and want to gain the essential knowledge. The link is in the description below. Before we move on uh, on what to do on the actual day of the test, one more thing to uh, do the night before is make sure you get your provisional license out and ready. The amount of times uh, learners have either misplaced it or just forgotten it. And let me tell you a story of one of my learners who about an hour before I was supposed to pick him up, yeah, he uh, called me, he goes, Pin, I've left my uh, provisional, provisional license at uni. I think he went to uni in Nottingham. So there's no way he could go there and come back in time, yeah. And I was like, there is no point in, on, uh, in us going for the test because uh, you're not allowed to go for your test without, without your provisional. And for some reason, in his mind, he was like admin that because he's got his uh, passport and because he's got a picture of his license, that he'll be able to go for his test, yeah. I don't know if somebody had told him, but he was just like, he wasn't taking no for an answer. So he was like, I'm going to pay you anyway, and um, I want to go uh, to the test centre. I'm going to explain every, everything to the examiners, and I'm pretty sure they're going to let me go for my test. I'm like, they're not, but if you want to go, it's, it's totally your call. So, yeah, I, I was like, I'm not going to go inside the test center with you yeah, because I know what's going to happen so he went inside uh, he tried pleading with the examiner but it's a rule there's no way you're going to go uh, they're going to take you for your test without your provisional, provisional license so make sure you have your provisional license ready the night before okay let's move on to the actual day of the test now this next piece of advice is especially for those who are taking the test in their own car because most instructors will have this covered, yeah. And um, this is something that the examiners do notice. It's really important. Make sure your car is clean and tidy on the day of your test. So we're gonna check out my car now, which in uh, my opinion is, is not ready to take on the day of a driving test. Yeah, it may do for lessons, but I wouldn't take my car like this. Let me show you, yeah, uh, on the day of a driving test. So as you can see, it's not too bad from the outside. It's not being cleaned, but it's uh, not that dirty either. The back, so this is uh, how my car normally looks during uh, lessons, but obviously on a test, you don't want all this stuff on the back seat. Uh, there's some, uh, well, just one chocolate wrapper there, so not bad. Obviously this stuff on the seat, make sure it's clear. I normally put this in the boot because on the day of your test, if the examiner asks you, asks you to do the emergency stop, all this stuff's gonna come flying off. But the other thing, it just doesn't look good having a messy back seat. And let's see the front. Right, so as you can see, the mat need cleaning. Any empty bottles obviously get rid of. And um, yeah, just make sure the screen is um, nice and clean as well, yeah. So if there's, if I don't have time to um, get the car uh, cleaned, 
the least I always do is make sure it's hoovered, mats are clean and the windows um, have been cleaned as well so there's no marks here. Yeah. Obviously you guys can't smell the car but um, both of my kids play football and the car actually smells, um, you know, of that football boot sock smell which isn't a very pleasant smell. So um, what I normally use is, uh, where is it? Is this fabric freshener? Yeah, it just gives the car a very nice smell. So as soon as the examiner sits in, uh, again, it's going to make a difference. Yeah, just imagine you sit in the car and it stinks. And if you sit in a car which looks clean and smells nice, it's going to start uh, obviously make the examiner feel. Yeah, they've made an effort. Yeah, so make sure your car is nice and clean on the day of your test. Arriving at the test center at the correct time is vital. Obviously, you don't want to be late, but don't be too early either. Yes, you heard right. Don't be too early. I'll tell you why. Most test centers have limited parking, and if you enter the car park too early, you will cause obstruction for learners that are returning from the test. Examiners will not like this, and I have seen instructors being told off for entering the car park too early and making it difficult for learners that are coming back from the test to park up. The earliest you should enter the car park is between 8 and 10 minutes before your test time. Make sure you park facing the correct way. If you're taking the test in your instructor's car, he or she will know how to park. But I've seen learner drivers who are taking the test in their own car park forwards into a bay, which means you will have to reverse out of the bay to start the test. You're just making it more difficult for yourself. Always reverse into the bay. So you, along with other learners, will be waiting in the test centre uh, for the examiner to come out and call out your name. So when the examiner does come out and call out your name, this is how not to greet the examiner. Pim binning. Hi. So that's, not, that's what not to do, yeah? Okay, so um, your first impressions do count. So ex examiner, if you could uh, go back and call out my name again, please. Pim Binning. Hi. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So yeah, just stand up, greet the examiner, shake hands if you do want to. If, if you don't want to shake hands, that's fine. Yeah, um, just make sure you greet the examiner with a smile. It will make a difference. And before the examiner comes out, it's important that you have your provisional license ready in your hand. When the examiner comes out and asks for, asks for your license, this is what you do not want to happen. Hello, could I see your provisional please? Uh, yep, yep. Ooh. That's what you do not want to happen, yeah. So obviously that's not provisional, yeah, that's actually a license. But um, see how frustrating that can become. I'm not saying the examiners are going to get frustrated, but don't waste time like that, yeah? Okay, have everything ready and show them that you're prepared. And the final thing that the examiner will ask you to do before you leave the test center to walk out to your car is read and sign the declaration. So, um, yeah, examiner, if you could ask me to do that. Yep, can you just read and sign the declaration here, please? Yep. Yeah, you guys, you guys get what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, I've had this happen with learners, and I'm just like, okay, just sign it. They're not gonna, they're not doing anything dodgy. Yeah, it's just a declaration to say that your vehicle is insured. Yeah, and you've lived in the UK for a certain amount of time. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not saying don't read it, but just um, know what it's about beforehand, uh, and don't take ages to read it. Yeah, sign it, and let's uh, get your test started. The next tip is mainly for anyone who's taking the test in their own car, yeah. If you're in your instructor's car, you shouldn't have this issue, but if you're in your own car, make sure you have one of these, yeah. If you haven't got one of these, then before you walk out of the test center with the examiner, make sure you let them know that you haven't got an uh, extra interior mirror, yeah. Because just imagine, uh, you walked out to your car, the examiner, it, it, 
it can be a long walk for, uh, from um, some test centers to the car park yeah so the examiner's walked all the way to the car and you've got into the car and the examiner sees there's no interior uh, mirror there so the examiner has to walk all the way back into the office and then back to you again again it's wasted time and again it's not going to create a good impression yeah so make sure you have an interior mirror if you're doing the test in your own car when you walk out of the test center with the examiner they will ask you if you would like some information about the test always say yes to this unless you have done a test before if you've done a test before then it's okay to tell the examiner that you already know as you have taken a test previously the examiner will tell you that the test will last around 35 to 40 minutes there will be one maneuver and they may ask you to carry out an emergency stop if you're unsure or didn't understand anything it's okay to ask the examiner any question don't be afraid to do so your first challenge will be the eyesight check. The examiner will ask you to read a number plate from 20 meters. Please, 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 if you wear glasses, then don't forget them. Don't be one of those learners that struggles to read the number plate, because if you can't read the number plate, that will be the end of the test, which will be marked as a fail. After the eyesight check, the examiner is gonna ask you the tell me question, which could involve this. Can you open the bonnet, please? I've seen this happen many times on the test. So as an examiner, how do you think the examiner is going to feel if you've come for your driving test and you don't even know how to open your bonnet? Disappointed. Yeah, he's going to be like, you come for a test and you don't even know how to open the bonnet. Um, it's happened, well, luckily not with me, but I've seen other learners, yeah, they have to go back and ask their instructor to come and help them open the bonnet. Yeah, so make sure you're prepared. And if the examiner hasn't asked you a question which uh, involves opening the bonnet, he'll ask you a different tell me question. So again, be prepared. This is what you do not want to happen. Could you tell me if there's a problem with the anti-lock braking system? Could I tell you if there's a problem? Could you tell me how you would check? How you would know. Yeah, so sometimes the examiners may not know what they're on about. Sure. Yeah, that's when you <laughs> educate them, yeah. So could you re-ask me that question? Could you tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with the anti-lock braking system? I don't know. That's not good enough, is it? Really? <laughs> okay, well, don't feel like you're going to gravel. <laughs> yeah, okay. Examiners won't say that, but they, they will put a, they obviously, they, they, they will give you a, mar, uh, a minor a mark, a minor fault, yeah? But again, it just shows, it's all about like showing how prepared you are and how, like, how much you really um, want, the, uh, want to pass the driving test. So if you uh, come for a test and you answer like I did, don't know. Examiner might be thinking that that's not good enough, but obviously he won't say, but like I said, he will give you a minor fault, yeah? And you don't, you don't want to start your test off on that note. So ask me the question again, please. Could you tell me how you would know if there was a problem with the anti-locking braking system? With the anti-lock braking system, there would be an ABS warning light that will show up. Yeah, correct. That's it. You want to get the answer correct and, yeah, move off on a good note. And guys, the final piece of advice here yeah, is make sure you're familiar of how to exit the test center and enter the test center yeah so you practice this in your lessons and you start off especially the first minute or two yeah um driving well so um what ha normally happens in the car park uh, when learners move off yeah because they think they're in a car park they feel they don't need to do their checks yeah and obviously you're going to be a bit nervous on the day but uh, you want to start off as smooth as you can yeah so for example when you move off Make sure you check both the blind spots and make sure you're obviously moving off nice and smooth. And this kind of stuff can happen where you're a bit nervous, you rush off the clutch, you brake, yeah? If that does happen, just get yourself together. The examiner won't fail you for that, yeah? Just react well. So, secure the car, restart, and then even, even if you have to say to the examiner, sorry, I'm a bit nervous, I need a minute or so just to get myself together. You're you're allowed to do that, yeah. Right then, so um, that's it, guys. 
Thank you, Rajan, for playing the examiner today. No worries. <laughs> yeah. No worries. And guys, any of you who have got your tests coming up, I really hope that you guys uh, pass your test first time or if it's the second time. Just, uh, yeah, all the best. Good luck. And like always, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.